Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the Top 10 Christian Movies 2022. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Fans of Christian films will have a lot to look forward to in the year 2022, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The filmmakers behind the films War Room and Overcomer are about to release their third feature film, which will be titled War Room 3. In a similar vein, the same studio that brought you American Underdog, and we can only imagine is preparing to release their latest film, which is based on a true story, in theaters. This year will also see the release of a film starring the legendary actor Pat Boone, as well as a documentary by Christian apologist Lee Strobel. The following are the top 10 Christian films that will be released in 2022. Number 10. Send Proof. In a rare attempt at open-mindedness, Pastor Stevens includes not only believers, but also self-admitted atheists in the documentary. When his pastor abandons the faith, Elijah Stevens sets out to prove miracles. He encounters atheists, doubters, medical researchers, intellectuals, and those who claim to have been healed. In Send Proof, a pastor sets out to establish that miracles really occur, which is no simple undertaking for believers. The issue with miracles is that proof removes trust. Unless you see signs and wonders, Jesus continued, you will never believe. It's not practical to expect proof to help people believe in God. The film is a convergence of different opinions seeking the truth, not a feel-good movie for Christians. Number 9. Lost Outlaw. Outlaws take over a Chinese gold mining camp. Outlaws must question their morals after meeting their dream woman. During the gold rush, an outlaw band steals a gold mine from Chinese miners and uses it as a hideout. When Lucas, a gang member, meets a young Christian woman on the road, he is forced to choose between his lifestyle and the woman of his dreams. Number 8. Hope Lives. Hope Lives has a strong Christian moral philosophy and a forgiving theme. Prayer and Bible reading are included in the plot. The production is unpolished, and the performances are inconsistent. Ultimately, the movie's message and plot will be remembered. Number 7. A Week Away. A live-action Christian musical is as unusual as a Christian comedy in the film. Will and Avery are two teenagers who meet at a Christian summer camp and discover love, purpose, and a new sense of religion. What happens when Christians do life together is a charming film, according to critic Emily Clark. Number 6. Blue Miracle. The occupants of a financially distressed orphanage partner up with a failed fisherman to enter the coveted Bisbee's Black and Amp, Blue Fishing Tournament. If they win, the orphanage can stay open. There are strong messages about paternity and second chances in this film starring Jimmy Gonzalez, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, The Case for Christ. Reach Records created the soundtrack. Language in this Netflix film is rated TVPG. Number 5. Life Mark, Fall. Georgia-based filmmakers Alex and Stephen Kendrick are releasing their fourth feature film. The Kendricks have a string of faith-based hits under their belt, including War Room, Overcomer, Facing the Giants, Courageous, and Fireproof, among other films. It's worth noting that the Kendricks documentary Show Me the Father is one of the best documentaries you'll ever see, and War Room was the number one movie in America on its second weekend of release last year. Number 4. The Mulligan, April 18th to 19th. Unexpectedly, a successful businessman whose life is in disarray finds the inspiration he needs while competing in a golf tournament. The inspiration for this concept comes from Pat Boone's enigmatic figure The Old Pro. The film is based on the novel of the same name. The film stars Eric Close, Tanya Christensen and Charmin Lee, among other actors. According to Boone, the cast and crew prayed on the set on a daily basis. He hopes that it will have an impact on people who do not attend church regularly. We're trying to reach them in a way that we think is really pleasant and enjoyable, and that they can relate to, Boone said in an interview with Crosswalk. We have high hopes for the future. We know God is involved because of the way he has brought everyone together, including the cast, crew, director, producer, and everyone else who has played a role in the production. According to Boone, the premise is straightforward, 
everyone is in need of second chances and forgiveness at some point. Number 3. The Case for Heaven, April 4 to 6. Evangelical apologist Lee Strobel examines the evidence for paradise in this investigative documentary based on his book of the same name. In 2017, the film The Case for Christ, which tells the story of Lee Strobel's conversion, was released. In the wake of a near-death experience, Strobel came up with the concept for the book. I was on the verge of death a few years ago, Strobel revealed to Got Questions Ministries. I was unconscious when my wife found me on the floor of our bedroom. She sought assistance by dialing 911. I was awakened in the emergency room. The words of a doctor, who was looking down at me, were, you're one step away from a coma, two steps away from death. So I lingered for quite some time, sort of teetering on the precipice of life and death until doctors were able to intervene and save my life. According to Strobel, the event served as a clarifying event. What happens when we close our eyes for the last time in this world is something you begin to wonder about with great interest. Number 2. The Unbreakable Boy, TBA. A young autistic boy with a rare bone illness inspires everyone around him with his unwavering faith and positive outlook on life. He is an inspiration to everyone around him. The film is based on a true story as well as the book of the same name. American underdog director Kingdom Story Company has released a new film. The studio is also responsible for the films I still believe and I can only imagine. On its opening night in the United States in 2020, I still believe was the highest grossing film of the year. It stars a number of well-known actors, including Zachary Levi, Amy Acker, Megan Fahey, and Patricia Heaton, among others. It was directed by John Gunn, The Case for Christ, and it was produced by John Irwin, Andrew Irwin, and Kevin Downs with John Irwin and Andrew Irwin serving as producers. Andrew Irwin told Crosswalk that the films he and his brother make are aimed at people of all faiths, including Christians and non-believers. According to him, the way we present the story serves as an introduction to the gospel to the good news that we all cherish, and to the idea of redemption, he explained. If we can create a product that brings our audience together, while also providing a platform to trigger the fear of missing out, we will be able to communicate that message outside of the church's walls. As a result, we are extremely enthusiastic about it. Because we want to earn the right to be heard, I believe it's important to find things that are generally popular, have mainstream appeal, and have mainstream actors in order to earn that right. All of the following are rated PG, intense themes, alcohol abuse, language, and the occasional act of violence. Number 1. Tyson's Run, March 4. In his first year of public school, a 15-year-old autistic adolescent attempts to win the approval of his father by participating in his first marathon. For the purpose of assisting him in his goal, he will be guided by a champion marathon runner. As a result of his autistic characteristics, Major Dodson plays the film's central character. Tyson is a wonderful person on all levels. He is a person with aspirations and objectives. When asked about the character's behavior in the film, Dodson responds. He just functions in a different manner. He is worried about the well-being of his friends and family. He wants to make a good first impression on his father, so he dresses appropriately. For the most part, he's just a normal child growing up in a normal family with aspirations to do great things in life. Dodson, like the main character in the film, claims that he has improved in his social abilities as he has grown older, according to him. If you had talked to me when I was six years old, none of this would be happening, he said, referring to the interview. Acting has really transformed Major, according to his mother, Jen Dodson, who claims that acting has really transformed Major into the person he is now. Writing a script and acting out his emotions was a really safe environment for him, she explained. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.